Hi everybody, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. So today I have a super simple project. It co comes together in just a few minutes once you've ga gathered all your tools together. And as an added bonus, it makes a great Mother's Day gift. All right, for this project, you're gonna need a few materials. So you're gonna start with a cup and saucer. You want a cordless drill with a diamond uh, tile or glass drill bit in it. I'm using the 3 inch uh, drill bit size. Some E6000 glue. I've got some 20 gauge silver wire here. A Sharpie, some needle nose pliers. And then you're also going to want a little bit of water, a towel just to clean up some of the water, and I've got a small piece of wood here so that I can do the drilling on the wood. So for this design, I want to drill a hole kind of not in the center of the plate, but just kind of um, midway between this upper ridge here. So I'm going to take a Sharpie and just note or mark kind of where I want the hole. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. And in order to get to keep the drill bit from slipping around, here's a closer look at the bit itself. It's already it's a little dusty and dirty. But I don't want the drill to slide around, so I'm going to start it at a 45 degree angle. Kind of slowly, kind of on just on my mark. I should mention that you probably need a second pair of hands or some way to secure the plate. Uh, I've seen people do it on videos where they're holding it themselves, but I was not able to hold the drill and keep it from sliding around if I was only holding it with one hand. So you can see here I have an extra pair of hands helping me hold the plate. You obviously want to be careful because you're using a power tool. Um, this is the second hole that we drilled. It takes about three to four minutes to get through. Um, you do want to add some pressure to the drill so that you're actually kind of pushing down. And to be honest, my arms got a little tired, so I had to take a break here and there. Uh, but it was fairly straightforward process. There weren't any problems with cracking or, um, I will say there was some small chips that came off the back. Uh, so if you needed a pristine hole, you might be a little more careful but uh, with the plates I was using, it, it barely shows up at all anyway. And like I said, it was on the back of the plate since we were drilling from the front of the plate. Once again, um, you do want to start at the angle. And I was not, even with two hands, the drill got away from me a little bit. So you want to start with a very slow speed to try to get that groove in place before you straighten up the drill to drill the hole all the way through. And... Like I said, my arms did get very tired, so I let the hu hubby finish up the hole for me at the end. But it did only take about three minutes, and it was a pretty uh, successful little project. I was kind of nervous when we started whether we were going to break some plates or not. Here's a look at the first uh, cup and saucer that we did. It, it's just a simple wiring job once you have the hole to use the 20 gauge wire to hold the cup in place. And then I used a little bit of E6000 glue to secure the cup so that it wouldn't wobble too much. And then you can just hang it up. So for my second one, I decided that I wanted to try to add a little pizzazz to it because I'm using a pretty plain cup and saucer. I chose them because they had such a cute shape, but they are a little bit plain. So I think if you chose a a prettier cup and saucer you might end up with sort of a little more fun but you can use your own discretion in that um, the plane gives you some options to 
add a little pizzazz to it. So I'm just cutting a fairly long piece of the 20 gauge wire and putting some beads on it and then using that to make a loop to secure the cup to the saucer. You could probably use a lot of different things to kind of decorate it. You do want something that's going to be weatherproof, so um, probably not any paper products or anything. But like I said, I'm just kind of playing around with this to add a little bit of more color to match the blue stripe around my plate. So once I have the beads on there, I want to tie them off pretty tightly so that they don't have gaps in the beads where the wire loop is. And then I'm just going to push those wires through the back or through the hole in my plate and make sort of a loop so that I can hang the cup and saucer up once I'm done. I will say that uh, once you get the two pieces wired together, they are kind of unruly to work with. So it is a little tricky to work with the wires, but if you just work slowly and try not to clank them around too much, you can get a nice little loop. And then I chose to pull my wires back to the front and kind of coil them up into a little coil just to add a little bit more decoration to the cup and saucer themselves. You always want to have more wire than less. So like I said, I was working with a fairly long piece of wire and you can certainly cut it off if you if you want to once you've got everything secured. But I decided to make some little coils in the front just to add a little bit more interest since my cup and saucer are kind of plain. And to do this, I just used some jewelry pliers to start the coil. It is a little bit tricky because you've got the cup and saucer in your way. Uh, and if you want, if you need to, once you've got the coil started, uh, you can use your fingers to coil it up. That's what I ended up doing just to get the coil all the way tight to the cup and saucer. So the last step you need to do is just to secure the cup because it is very rocky uh, on the when it's hanging there. So you just want to sort of have the cup laying where you want it to be uh, when the cup is hanging up and sort of eyeball the contact points on the cup. And then you just want to add a fair amount of E6000 glue because you don't have a really flat surfaces to connect to each other. So you need a fairly big bead of the E6000 glue. And then you want to be a little bit careful when you're aligning everything because you don't want the cup slipping around and spreading glue all over the place. So I'm grabbing the loop here. So I'm pulling the cup handle tight at like it will be when it's hanging up and then just setting the cup onto the saucer and allowing the glue to make contact. And then I wanna be careful not to move the cup around after that. You need to let the E6000 glue cure for about 24 hours. So you wanna set this out of the way where nobody's gonna bump it. Um, and that way you'll have a nice solid grip between the cup and the plate. Uh, like I said, though, it only takes about 20 minutes or less to put the whole thing together. And you have a cute little bird feeder when you're done. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider becoming a subscriber if you haven't already. And I hope to see you back here soon in the lab.